Hey guys, Steph the Illuminated Nerd. Today we're talking about visa mounts and the visa standard and what that means and how you can attach your monitors, TVs, and computers to the visa mounts. Let's get right into it. So when we look at the visa mount standard, it's a set of standards that help define these holes that go on the various devices that you can uh, connect to the stands. So <clears throat> like a television or a computer monitor, or as this case here, this is the back panel of a Thermal Take Core P5 case. And <clears throat> this particular case supports a 75 millimeter by 75 millimeter mounting pattern, or the 100 by 100 millimeter mounting pattern, or a 100 millimeter by 200 millimeter mounting pattern. Now there's other mounting patterns, but <clears throat> those three are definitely the most common ones that you'll find with this inner wall pattern, this inner pattern of 75 or 100 millimeter, that being the most common that you'll see on monitors um, <clears throat> and on computers. Uh, whereas uh, <clears throat> extremely larger televisions, like let's say 60 to 80 inches, then you might start seeing, you know, the 200 by 100 or possibly even uh, 200 by 200 or anything in increments of 200 millimeters and higher, uh, such as this 200 by 100 millimeter pattern. Um, so the, the visa standard was a way of defining these holes and these patterns so that all of the companies would use the same pattern so that the stands would be able to be universally adapted. As long as the stand said that it supported the 75 by 75 millimeter or the 100 by 100 millimeter, then you knew that that stand would work with a TV or uh, a monitor that said that it supported a Visa, uh, that it supported a Visa 75 by 75 or a Visa 100 by 100 mounting pattern. So by, by, having, by marrying those two together and making sure that there was a standard with, between all the different companies, that made it easier for consumers to be able to buy the stands and the products that would attach to the stands and allow and allow them to work nicer together. Um, the more common type of um, of the stands le lately is there's these wall mount ones that you can uh, use that have a, a fully articulating arm, which means the arm can move uh, about 180 degrees and uh, it can actually help. Um so this is a fully articulating wall arm. Right, and then, so the, the arm goes on the wall and this part goes out and attaches to your monitor or to your television or whatnot. So it allows you to move your, your television around like this uh, so that you can get it exactly in place of where you're trying to get it. Um, so in order to generally mount those, it has like a mounting plate like this that attaches uh, that attaches to the articulating arm and that uh, gives you a little bit of tilt movement, but um, it's just for the sake of uh, installation is that you can install the plate directly on, like let's say the back of the computer or on your television and then just lift your television. Obviously that can sometimes need more than one person to help, but they can lift the monitor or panel in place and then attach the panel to the mounting bracket and then voila the two are attached together and then it hangs from that bracket um and the so the most important part to take from all of this is that when you're trying to find a stand right a mounting stand whether it's a fully articulating one or whatnot it's important that the the whole pattern this one actually uses the um this one actually uses these holes here. It's actually the 200 by 100 panel, which is uh, how you can attach uh, uh, this to like this, for example, if I wanted to. You have the, pa the panel here, the, wall, the, the holes here. Um, but when you're looking for a monitor stand or if you're looking for a TV stand, it's important to look at what visa pattern that your panel supports or your computer case supports or your TV supports. Um, and you'll see, you know, if it's the 200 by 100 or two or you know, 75 by 75, those particular uh, hole patterns. And you have to see that your 
uh, your stand supports the same pattern. So not every stand will support every single hole pattern and not every single panel or computer gaze will support every hole panel. So it's just important to make sure that those two match up. And last but not least, the other part that's important is that not every stand will support the same amount of weight as every kind of stand out there. So the, you know, the, the strength of the steel and whatnot make a huge difference in um, that they're using in the actual stand and how much weight can actually be held on the stand and you know, you know, how strong of a, a computer or how strong of a computer case it'll hold, like how heavy of a computer case or how heavy of a television, especially when we're talking about the larger, you know, 60, 70, 80 inch panels and whatnot, uh, those are can start to get pretty heavy and you won't necessarily be able to uh, have those on any single kind of stand that are out there. So just make sure that you do your shopping to make sure that you, those will all line up correctly. And uh, that's really all you need to, to worry about is uh, the whole pattern and that the, um, that the weight uh, can, uh, can also match up. And uh, here you can also see the, uh, the fact that sometimes they won't refer to the, the whole patterns as millimeter by millimeter, like 100 by 100 millimeter, millimeter. Sometimes they'll also refer to them as this particular abbreviation here. I'll show you the little chart that shows all the abbreviations. Sometimes you'll see that uh, on the actual um, box so you can see the difference of what that means. And sometimes you'll only see that and not the numbers, but Almost all of the time when I look at a product, I'll see, it'll say Visa 75 by 75. Uh, this particular abbreviation pattern is pretty rare, but if you see it and you're trying to figure out what those mean, what that means, then here's all of that uh, breakdown. All right, so there you go. That's uh, everything you need to know to manage Visa mounts and pick the right kind of stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.